Bye, little excavator. There he goes. It's been a busy weekend. Let me see if I can lead you guys through a few of the projects that have been worked on. First is the driveway. I don't know if anybody remembers, but there was a huge pile of asphalt grindings there that has been partially spread out here, which makes for a ni much nicer driveway. Especially in the uh, winter time when it gets a little wet and stuff like that. It tends to, a little bit of mud kind of creeps up. Next spot. The garden. Well, slowly flowers start to fade with that morning, morning sky. It's getting a little chillier. I actually have a sweater on this morning. It's supposed to get hot. It's supposed to get up to almost 30 in the next couple of days, but the mornings are cold. Okay, we've got work to do. This area here has been a sore spot. This so was kind of started, you know, working the. So that got done, and now this is sort of got done. I still got to do the roof, but got to work our way up. Got those asphalt grindings to get rid of. Got an excavator. This area here has been a sore spot, this whole front area, for a long time now. And uh, as much as I joke around about um, harvesting buttercup, I don't actually harvest buttercup. <laughs> and then the squirrels plant these trees. One, two, three. They're chestnut trees, I believe. Uh, so I don't, I don't want a bunch of chestnut trees. I'm going to try to keep the raspberries and just beyond there because um, the previous owners planted this as a garden for food and flowers and I don't have time for food and flowers right now I used to but I don't anymore and these are the blueberries so I want to keep the birds are in here eating but tons of blueberries you know all little tiny birds in here eating away uh, but I have no real purpose for this it's the apple tree just a little one and the raspberries so the excavators here for a few things this a thing over there a bunch back there got a lot to do so it's gonna start here though so I thought I'd bring you guys along on the journey talking about it but uh, for the most part this will all be cleared and uh, there's these embedded beds which have been a real sore spot they they're like metal they trip me up all the time you go in there you can't see them so it's gonna get cleared should be fun I actually enjoy working with the excavator so it's gonna be a good couple days all right let's get started rentals definitely recommend renting as advice from a friend says don't buy one just rent it so you don't have to maintain it it takes a lot of time and money so okay let's get started Wiener dog. Okay, garbage. Piles of garbage taking out all this metal stuff. It's got garden covering or you know surrounding. That's an old roof from that thing there. Anyways. Done. All graded, filled in, leveled. We got fabric down because uh I don't want weeds coming up through the new driveway and because uh, it's a pretty weedy area so but hopefully with all the weeds I've dragged them out I've buried them <laughs> they've been buried 
Uh, but yeah, fabric is absolutely important. And then uh, we'll be grabbing just behind David's car there is a big pile of asphalt grindings. That's going to go here. So this will give a good spot maybe to put a trailer or, you know, a vehicle or so. So gorgeous day, pretty warm. Continuing on. Okay, this is it. <laughs> we have before video. I don't know if we have before picture, but uh, the driveway is essentially done, graded, fabric and all that. Just got a big pile of garbage to get rid of. And then that barely looks like it had a, a dent taken out of it. It's crazy. Brought a lot over here. It's good. Okay, so that sort of finishes this little bit here. It's a done deal. Yeah. I like it. It's gonna be it's gonna be very useful. Probably park a trailer here and everything. Yeah. Cleared. Another little driveway, because I just don't do enough gardening. It was just growing uh buttercup forever so can't have that anymore it's hot though we had a heat wave weekend up to about 36 37 i think it's about 100 fahrenheit the next uh little project is this here But uh, I'll tell you guys about that later. That's it's a bunch of gravel with a retaining wall. Okay, quick, quick little tip. Building a retaining wall here. Something that's uh, kind of important. Just to put these little blocks in here to be sort of uh, set in the gravel. And there is a piece of rebar that goes all the way through to um, the ground through the layer underneath this piece and that piece and that should sandwich it in nicely so that the wall doesn't go that way and there's always the option to sort of you know put a bit on the back and then you know a support that goes this way and then pushes this way but this is a good anchoring system so hopefully that helps somebody in the future. Hold the gravel in but you can see there's more usable space here. Next little thing, practical purposes, is here. A bunch of asphalt grindings came to here, all in front, and these mats have always been slippery. So the um, winter time or wet time or something like that you'd come out of the hay room and this would be a slope it was, a, it was too much of a slope you'd actually slip possible fall so it's safer i've made the place a little safer shall we check on the horses a little let's do that uh for everybody that saw the pile of gravel arrive it is much smaller it's much smaller for a reason we'll check that out in a second but i still got lots still got lots i've got one disappointment throughout all of this and I'll tell you guys in about it in a bit. Hello Nanners! How you doing? You look like you're doing pretty good for your food. Goodness gracious. Yeah. She says, well fill it up then. Still got a few skeeters hanging around. Flies are out a little bit. Rue's over there chowing down. He's almost done too. Perfect timing. It's good. This is drinking lots of water. Checking on waters. Horsey check time, so we do that. This guy's doing nicely. He finishes off his one and a half inch bag pretty good and then slowly works on the one inch, which he has been completing. So, happy about that. Training's coming along nicely. Hello, Luke. Check the waters. What's going on, buddy? You look like you're done. Pretty much, eh? Pretty much. Yeah. Hey, pal. It's a hot day today. Yeah, smoking hot already. 
20 degrees Celsius in the morning and uh, I tell you it's 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 warm it's too warm for my liking for a morning I'd like a morning to be a little chillier so uh, another quick thing having that excavator around really handy and uh, I might take a closer look but way off in that corner there it's where all the sand kind of goes when it rains so I was able to sort of drag that up along just arena maintenance whatever right oh look at these two how adorable oh squishy scratch squishy scratch a little co-grooming uh let's see they are out yep that's all right that's what this time of the morning is for and that's nice to see okay moving on so this is where one of the bigger projects happen and the excavator is handy because shoveling this stuff is a pain um the excavator you just put it into the gator the gator drives it down thank you to david and wendy for helping out with that part holy smokes um it gets brought in there's cloth underneath you can see it here fabric put the fabric down come down with the excavator level it cloth it then all of this now um it's actually still quite loose and the reason is is because it's very very dry we luckily had a huge rainfall last night um but there's too many trees in here to have the water make it down too far so it's very very wet or dry still but you can see a difference there's some wet some dry so it's permeated a bit and so this stuff will pack down a little bit got a little bit of raking left to do this project is not complete got to get all the way to the edges but as somebody else pointed out in the comments this place is going to be a dry hoof friendly leg friendly sort of place sorry to peggy for not being able to get all dirty anymore sorry peggy she'd love to roll in here to give her another spot which is easy to do hey look at that a bunch of co-groomers going on around here adorable hi really how's it going <laughs> you okay you are making a mess holy smokes why'd you make such a mess in there are you out of food too yep all right so we'll top up food check the waters yeah the excavator is just invaluable totally invaluable for this um, because shoveling is such a pain so my only disappointment through this whole time because the annual rental of the excavator i don't see roni co-groom very often he's learning looks a little lackluster in his efforts though doesn't he huh. um biggest disappointment was i couldn't gravel over this one i got it leveled so it's graded, I guess is a better way to put it, and better. But there's no way that the gravel left over was going to be enough to do this. So it'll have to be done another time. So they're locked off from here right now. Just working on that. And then uh, a bit of a land reclamation process back here. So pretty soon there'll be more usable land for the horses. Hi guys. <laughs> it's a staring contest. Let's all stand very still. Oh, Rooney moved first. Suck how you lose. Anyhow. So, very busy weekend. I don't know if anybody cares. These project sort of horsey check videos are usually my least my least favorite it seems or least viewed all the exciting horsey playtime ones which we'll probably do today i've um, got a little bit more work to do but that was a weekend of moving gravel moving asphalt grindings cleaning up the garden baking another driveway uh making a paddock clearing out the back leveling the other paddock yeah that oh and fixing the arena 
so it's a lot more it's a lot better anyhow so that's it that's my project update as interesting or non-interesting as it is very busy though so once a year rent an excavator if you own a place don't bother buying one <clears throat> just rent one you don't have to do the maintenance or anything just give it back what's going on pal and then get lots done hello what are you doing how very snuggly of you hey yeah Itchy, scratch me all over. Okay, I'll put you on with Lena or something. Okay, well, we gotta put some horses out, gotta do some more work. Lots to do still. But that's the life of a property owner, horse ownership, and training to do. This guy, he's doing really well. I like him a lot. So, hi, Manners. Drinking some water, a little backwash going. Okay, and then, yeah. This was not going to be enough to do that paddock, unfortunately. So it's my only disappointment. One thing I didn't get done that I really wanted to get done to make a little bit more usable space. But there's no way it would have been thick enough. Bummer. Okay, well, for me, a little bit of tamping. Got a little tiny tamping machine here to do here and down there. So that's it for this part of the video. I'll see you guys hopefully in a little bit. It's the end of the day. Gee, my lens is dirty. Hey, look, you can't even see anything. It's dusty. It's been dry, hot. Oh, these guys have uh, been in a little bit of, <laughs> as you've seen, um, if you saw, a little bit of uh, sprinkler training, getting all soaking wet. And now, like a good shake and bake, they're uh, covered in spite, I mean sand. So. <laughs> He's trying to find the right spot. I don't know where it is. I just can't find it! So I don't think they'll go back into the sprinkler, but they might have a bit of a play. I thought I'd capture some of that. They're getting to be an awful lot of fun, these two. Beard trimming and all that. Get them, Luke. Yeah, it's kind of jousting business is an awful lot of fun and they're so fast at it like boxers you know jab jab so yes sprinkler is still running I don't think they're gonna go in it but uh, I could probably try to spray them with it if I can pick it up well far the hose will go without getting the camera all wet of course but these guys are playing they're all a little bit cooled off now it's been a pretty warm day very warm weekend oh here comes the sprinkler quick pick it up ah, only got yeah. nope they're gonna avoid me never gonna make it Oh, I can water the arena a little. Oh, jeez. Anyhow. We'll put that down. Ooh, they are getting soaked. But, uh... It's good summertime fun. I'm cooler, they're cooler. Looks losing. That guy is standing strong. Oh, he moved back a step. What's gonna happen? Looks trying, he's gonna get him. Bite him! Bite him on the leg! Nope. See? Oh, he's giving him his butt. I love that. It's it pretty dusty when they start playing, so you have to be cautious. Yeah. 
and the camera lens is a little dirty and wet. Hang on a second. I don't know. I tried to dry it, but my clothes are all wet, so I really have nothing to dry it on. But I gave it a good wipe. It'll air dry in a second here, and then it won't be so glowy. Look at that. Ooh, it actually kind of looks good. Anyhow, they stopped playing while I was doing that. What's going on there, Sandy dude? Anyhow, it's the end of the day-ish, sort of, um, overall. Lots more done. And uh, horses get out to play. Socializing group. Wow, another roll. Look at this guy. He's thinking about it. He's not the biggest fan of the sprinkler, but he's a smart boy. He really got things figured out. So I look forward to sharing that. Should be soon. Luke is a $500 horse. True and true. He's a skunk as well. Look at his bag. He's got his one stripe. Look at this guy come over. He's going to roll right here, maybe. He's thinking about it. He's like, Luke, get out of the way. This does look like a great spot. Luke says, it's belly time for me. Look at these two. Is he going to roll over on top of Luke? Luke doesn't get out of the way? What's going to happen here? Never seen two horses roll so close. What the? Ah, he made it over. <laughs> Holy. Luke, you're a thousand bucks today. You've never been a thousand bucks. Oh, he's going back now. I can't believe Luke, ro you rolled on him. I've never seen a horse roll on another horse. Well, I've seen it here. Oh, it must feel so good. It must feel fantastic. Oh, he's gonna go get him. Get him, Luke. Oh, maybe not. Prancy, prance, prance, and stop. This is too hot to fight, man. So, um, yeah, what else is there to say? It's a great day. Could be a little cooler, though. I'm always checking out the barrels, eh? Okay. Yeah, I think uh, I think my lens needs a good clean. Oh, actually, what am I talking about? Watch this. Oh, I can't get it off. Ugh. On the front of the lens is actually a lens protector. Uh oh, what's happening here? So I can actually just take it off, but it won't twist off. So I think I'll put it on too tight, or it's been on too long. I think that might be it. <laughs> Anyhow, just a little catch up on the end of the day. Um, fences have been repaired at the back, over on that uh, new paddock section. It's uh, everything is back in order. It's a fantastic weekend. Amazingly, and, and weather-wise, it's been so hot and perfect for having an excavator. And then we had that pouring rain. We had a pouring rainstorm last night. It is a thunderstorm, supposedly. I wasn't awake to hear it, but the news said it was a thunderstorm. Look at these guys. And uh, yeah, it poured. And you wouldn't even know it. You wouldn't really know it. It wasn't really humid today or anything. Whoa. It's just a drive-by. Luke's got no real power. He wishes he did. See how fast it gets dusty? It's going down for another roll. Same spot. Is he looking for the spot that uh, Ali rolled in? How about that? No, he's going back to his spot. It's my spot, he says. Nobody rolls here but me. Yep, down for another roll. Kerplunk. Oh jeez. He's not respecting the roll. He's coming in for a nibble. Maybe not. <laughs> I gotta duke it out again. Get away from me, man. I just wanna have a roll here. I'm itchy. Got some itchiness, especially all that wire that stupid human put on me and this stupid sprinkler. Whoop, that was a good one. He almost got his beard. It's a beard trimming horse. 
Luke wanted to be a barber, but uh, he's a better massage therapist. There's a sprinkler in the background. Watering my arena. Says, nope, I'm done. It's, it's too warm to fight. Leave me alone. So, um, we shall continue on. This guy's doing fantastic for training. He's really a well-behaved smarty pants. Gets along with, uh, well, so far all the boys. I haven't put him with any girls. A few people ask if I'm going to put him with girls. I don't think so. Wow. That takes a lot of power. Think about how much power that takes to move that large of a head around at that speed. Back and forth. I'm kind of against the fence. I feel a little bit... Well, he moved. See, if he wants to come forward, he's got to come around Luke, or he would have come around Luke towards me. Something to think about when you're out here hanging out with horses for horse behavior time. Being very cautious not to get run over. <laughs> yeah, staying safe. Okay, that's it. What is... Because I'm thirsty. And he comes along. That's nice. I like that they're buddies. I like that they get along. I kind of like that, you know, there's some competitiveness or something going on when the other ones are out a little bit. I like the dynamics. It's interesting. Okay, we're going to leave it at that. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. And, uh, of course, we'll see you in the next one.